Here's my first one. This, let me get this over here. This, I put, um, I put two rosettes. I put a pink rosette and then I die cut this rosette. I made a double layered butterfly and put stickles and some bling in it. With this, I used the puffy sticker um, with the lemons on it because the backing was, I used this because I didn't have much Maggie Holmes paper. Um, I used this paper to make the little ties out of and the butterfly. I used this glitter frame because I had a pack of Flourish Ephemera. I put the word happy, happy at the top with some little bling and a little rose. Um, at the bottom, I used some leaves and some of the uh, um, vellum leaves. Here, this is a sticker. Life is Lovely is from the Maggie Holmes sticker book. Um, and... I just backed it on this paper, the same paper that I made the butterfly out of, um, trimmed it out in gold, and added some bling on the sides. The bow is actually from this Recollections collection. It is that one. They give you two of each. But I thought the bow went really, really well. And then I just put some box pleat tulle under the edge. And then at the bottom, I attached a bulb pin with this little... Um, Oops, hang on. This is hanging wrong. There. I attached this little, um, I thought this went well with the pink and the blue and the white. So it kind of incorporated all the colors of the Maggie Holmes. So I included this little um, tassel. And then the next one I made, thank you. Um, these are extra. They're extra, extra, okay? The next one I made, I used the paper that has, um, if you look under here, it has the little Ferris wheel. There's the little girl in the ticket booth waving. So I tried to get her in. I, um, I took one of the slides and put a Maggie Holmes butterfly and edged it in um, fossilized amber, which goes really good with this Maggie Holmes kind of funky yellow color. I made a bottle cap and attached it in here with a jump ring and put a little eyelet in there. I just put some glossy accents and a bow and backed. I put a little piece of paper, the same paper that I had trimmed off that just so it kind of coordinate in the background. And then um, I attached some little bling, a bling, a sequence, another bling that matches these. This is the chipboard piece. So I'm kind of wonderful. This is the puffy sticker and one of those stars that comes in the kit and then i added a little white star on top to cover the hole and put it over the o and love i added some vellum pieces from the collection which i had cut i had cut them into two or three parts so i could use them on several projects um, this is one of the chipboard stickers that i had just pulled the back off of then i put the whole thing on a um, crepe paper rosette and I just stuck this little um, swan sticker. She's also out of here. And then another chipboard piece up here just to kind of pull the black in a little bit more. I put black ribbon, some, some organza ribbon and some gold ribbon under the rosette. And then I put some green box pleat tool around the top. Um, I also added these little enamel dots just to give pull some of that blue to the edge because you know I, I'm obsessed with like colors and how they interact so and then my last one was this um, I had this piece of paper kind of reminded me of waves but when you turn it over it kind of reminds me of clouds so I love this house. I love the Maggie Holmes house. Again, I made one of those like specimen slides with a Maggie Holmes flower. I attached a sticker from this kit that says more, the flowers from this kit to you, uh, or sticker book, um, says more sunshine and then a little star. And I just inked this up in a blue that I thought matched. And then I took this chipboard piece and I don't like them, how they come out. I'm not big on using chipboard 
but you know when you come when they come out of the kits they just look plain but the edges look like cardboard and i don't like that so i colored the edges with my gold pen and then i stuck some stickles or some um bling to the edges and glued that on and i thought this kind of looked like the sun so I used the yellow crepe paper rosette to create kind of the sun because I was going to use the You Are My Sunshine banner, but I didn't end up using that. These little flag stickers are also from this book. I stuck a chipboard star, a couple chipboard stars, and then a sequin star underneath. And I used the star tool to make like a half a rosette because this is like the night and this is like the day over here. So I wanted the sunshine to kind of be like shining over here. <laughs> I know that's weird. Here's the moon down here. So it doesn't really look like the moon, but, and then I just put some little deer. I outlined this one because he was kind of fading out. I outlined him in a black gel pen and then I stuck a, um, what do you call it, an eyelet in here and attached this with a bulb pen. And then I put the little black deer and some of these little gold leaves and I put some little flowers like they were growing by the house. And then that's it for that. So I also edged this paper in the gold pen so it would look a little bit more finished. I'm still kind of shocked. My fourth one is partially put together. I can show it to you if you want my last one. When I found out, I was actually making it when I found out this contest was over. Uh, here, I'll show you. Got here. I was... Um, I was at the desk and so I had stickles the tail and the hair and put this bow on and stickles this and then I stickles um, part of this camera too. I don't know if that'll show you because I thought it was kind of plain. You know, I wanted everything to be extra. So I had decided that these were going to be the big focal points on here and then I had stopped right then. But I had this tag with the holographic edge. So I used the holographic stickers. And this bow has like little holographic bling inside it. And then, yeah. And used the hollow stickles. And then I stopped. So I'm going to end this. But thanks for coming and thanks for checking out my my embellishments um, he's a big maggie holmes fan and i worked really hard to make them in a style that i thought she liked so if you haven't checked out her channel her name is Brittany pochick like um p-o chick like chicken or like a girly girl but um Brittany, i've been watching her since she was probably like i don't know eight years old i think seriously she started her channel when she was just a little girl, but she had some great ideas. I knew she was talented. Now she, I don't even know if she's old enough to drink, but she is um, an adult and she is a wonderful crafter. Check her out. This was originally going to be part of her birthday collab or birthday contest or whatever you call that. But yeah, because I'm old and slow. Okay. So I'll see you. Hope to see you ladies at Millie the Silent Crafters live starts in four minutes and um thanks for coming thanks for watching bye bye